Yes. Yeah, Andreas, uh, I have just come from Mumbai, and uh, as you are aware, our country went through a complete, uh, you know, exercise in which 86% of the currency was removed by the government, and new notes were put in. Interestingly, at that time, you know, the the, the interest in Bitcoin and uh, has surged. I, on Friday, I had a meeting. I mean, I had a chance to discuss. Uh, in India, you know, we are coming out with our own uh, digital identity platform called Aadhaar, mm -hmm. by which every in Indian's uh, 13 biometrics are, you know, put on a unique number, and they have a whole process of deduplication. So I had a chance to ask him on this uh, whole issue of how would blockchain fit into, you know, this entire. So he said, not, you know, right now he, he his opinion was that, you know, f with an other based system, where you already have identity available if you need, you know, uh, the blockchain would not really play a large role in that. I just wanted your perspective on that. So, uh, for those who may not have heard the details of the question, India went through a demonetization exercise where 86 percent of the currency was withdrawn with four hours' notice, um, and for some odd reason, interest in Bitcoin skyrocketed thereafter. Um, so, the next question was that India is now building an identity um, and biometric management system. Called Hack Me. Adar. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's not okay, called okay. Hack I, Me, I get, please. I get the point. <laughs> I get the point. I get the point. <laughs> it should be called Hack Me. Okay. <laughs> or bribe me and I'll make you whoever you want. Okay. I can't wait. I think the most important criteria for systems like that is that everyone should be registered, including the politicians who voted for it. And then I hope that the first people who get hacked are them. <laughs> and then they get to see why that's a bad idea. Okay. The fundamental problem with systems like this is the same problem with all of the systems that we're trying to fix. It's not whether it's stored on a database or a blockchain that really is a database, but with better chances of getting VC funding. It's, it's really about, is it centralized or decentralized? That's the question. And all of these identity systems, identity systems managed by governments, are centralized in their very nature. Okay. And they are the source of inequality, injustice, misery, and corruption on a massive scale. And you can't change that. <laughs> <laughs>